What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Termian Campfire. I am CM Akash, and I'm here with a very special guest today. Everyone, please put your hands together and welcome the newest CM for Black Desert Mobile, CM Byte. Hello everyone, it's great to meet you all, and as Akash mentioned, I'm Vipe and I'm the newest CM for Black Desert Mobile. Some of you may already know me, but for the rest, hello, and I hope you're doing well. I'm really looking forward to interacting with you all and usurping Akash to become your favorite CM. Good luck, man. Do you have your own emoji in our Discord server yet? Just give it time. So can you tell us a little about yourself, Vipe? Absolutely. First off, I'm new to the world of Black Desert Mobile, so please go easy on me. But I'm already deep into the game and I'm really excited to grow with the rest of the community members. Secondly, I'm ecstatic for my video debut to be bringing you all some of the biggest news about Black Desert Mobile this year. That's right. In case you hadn't already guessed, we're here today to recap the 2024 Black Desert Mobile Hydro Ball. The first piece of news is a big one. Someone big is joining the world of Black Desert Mobile. Someone our adventurers have been eagerly awaiting for some time now. Oh, that's really sweet of you, but you gave me a warm welcome in the intro. Nah, not you, man. <laughs> it's someone even better. The new class, Dosa. Yes, we are proud to announce that Dosa has finally come to Black Desert Mobile. It's been over a year since a new male class was introduced, but the wait is finally over. Please visit the official Black Desert Mobile YouTube channel to learn more about Dosa. Yeah. We have not one, not two, but three videos highlighting this new class and his eclectic moveset. Have you had a chance to try out the new class yet, Akash? Yeah, I took a stab at him. Get it? Because he has a big sword. <laughs> stab. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect time to try him out too since the summer season has started. Yeah, and this season has an awesome graduation reward. A brilliant chaos unknown glyph. Whoa, a new class and a new season? What else could there possibly be? Much more, actually. We also have a new login event that was just announced. Really? Uh, tell me more about it. We're introducing a new item called Shakatu Seal, which can be obtained through the weekend surprise missions. Once you collect up to 24, you can craft the highest grade chaos crystal or an all-inclusive plus for 28 days chest. You can get two seals per week, and you can use them to craft various items in quantities of four, eight, or 16. I don't have that many fingers, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so you can gather a few and make what you need as you go. Time to celebrate. And what better way to do so than with a new outfit? That's right. This is the new summer outfit. It can be used by all classes and also its appearance is visible in hunting grounds and content such as the arena and dark lands. The outfit will be released in just a week on August 13th. However, it's only available for one month, so don't miss that. I know our adventurers are excited for this one. The players in our social channels have not stopped talking about it. Next, we have some updates regarding Merchant Tree. Currently, only up to Medea is available for Merchant Tree, but with this new update, Valencia will be added. A total of three areas in West Valencia and one town will now be available. Furthermore, with the addition of these new areas, the Merchant Tree level cap will be expanded from 100 to 120. Family Dispatch is also receiving a change. Right now, you can only acquire rewards, but moving forward, you will also be able to obtain Merchant Tree EXP. New wagons are also being added as well. This includes higher grade versions of the current Merchant Wagon, the Noble Wagon, and the Paradox Forest Wagon. Yes, the new wagon is better than the current one as it can carry more food and it increases the quantity of special trade goods you can exchange. Lastly, you can now connect your dream horses to your wagons, which will allow them to quantum jump. This can only be done once per day, however. Those are some really fantastic additions to Merchant Tree. Absolutely! These updates will be available starting August 13th globally. What else do we have for our adventurers, Akash? I'm glad you asked, because we're excited to reveal some new survival content in Black Desert Mobile. Introducing the Azunak Arena. The Azunak Arena is a new mode that combines both PvP and PvE content. Up to 10 teams can participate in a variety of challenges. Adventurers from the same guild can form teams of three, and multiple teams from the same guild can participate. However, even though they're from the same guild, they will end up as enemies because they'll be on different teams. 
This content involves killing monsters to level up and defeating other adventurers to earn points. The ranking is determined by the total points of each team member. Every participant's CP is set to 40,000 upon entering, and everyone's level is set at 1. There are also bosses scattered throughout the arena, and defeating them allows you to use special gimmicks like recovery and glacial beats. The update for the Azunak Arena will take place on August 27th for global players, so please stay tuned for more info. The next update we have for you is another big one. We're adding two new regions in West Kelfian, Star's End and the Black Star Fallen Zone. Star's End has a suggested CP of 66,000, and 68,000 CP is the recommendation for Black Star Fallen Zone. Both zones are designed for very special items, Black Star weapons. You can farm these zones for items called Fallen God's Remnants, which you can then combine with Dawnvale gear to create Black Star weapons. Black Star weapons are similar in AP and DP to Dawnvale gears, but they come with additional stats. For example, a Black Star main weapon comes with the all branch damage plus 5% effect, and the Black Star sub weapon has the max HP plus 2000 stat. As you are battling monsters in the Fallen Gods realm, a new boss, the Incarnation of Corruption, will spawn in a specific location. Drop what you're doing and head into the fray because defeating it yields Fallen Gods remnants at a higher rate than normal. Fallen Gods realm has a recommended CP of 30,000, and PvP elements have been excluded from this mode, which gives both new and veteran adventurers the chance to enjoy this content. So even a newbie like me can participate without the fear of getting dominated by other players? Nice! And I think that's all for the announcements from this year's Heidel Ball. There's a lot to get excited about, wouldn't you say, Akash? Absolutely. From the new Dosa class to a new outfit and PvP modes, there's a lot for our adventurers to look forward to in the upcoming months. For those who might have missed the Heidel Ball, a total of five gift packages were given out during the ceremony. We're going to share the codes here as a reminder, so if you haven't redeemed them yet, you'll have until October 28th, 2024 to do so. Well, that about wraps up this episode of Termi and Campfire. Before we go, I want to thank you all for being so friendly and embracing me as your newest CM. I also want to thank CM Akash for being such a helpful guide through this new endeavor. And I want to thank you for doing such a great job on your first video of Black Desert Mobile. Thanks, Akash. I really appreciate that. If you thought we did a great job, make sure to like this video because it really goes a long way. And if you want to see more from CM Vibe and myself, leave a comment below. We sincerely hope everyone enjoyed this year's Hydro Ball, and a gigantic thank you to everyone for watching this episode of Termi and Campfire. Enjoy your Hydro Ball gifts, and we'll see you next time, adventurers. Bye.